rolling, rolling, rolling. Woohoo! Right, we're rolling. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Woohoo! So, we are in day two. We've just done Christchurch to Hamner. We've just left Hamner. And we are heading to Murchison through the Lewis Pass. Hi, my friend. Yeah, which we did not that long ago, did we? Um, just at Christmas time. We did this just at Christmas. The difference is we're now doing it the opposite direction. So you'll get to see, see if I can overtake this guy. It is 80 through here. Ready? Um, uh, I, I did this on the XR not that long ago and absolutely loved it. So let's see how we go on the GS, shall we? Yeah, and we were doing like trying to the opposite direction, but oh, to our joy, the sun has just come out. Yeah, so <laughs> it pissed it down this morning again. Yeah. Um, we got wet, but not that wet because we were a bit more prepared this time. We um, stopped and had coffee. And, and we've had so coffee. Cake. We've we've just had a beer and a burger. Burger. I had, I had nachos, I had burger. I had a massive burger. Awesome burger, awesome. Wow, look down there. So yeah, here we go, the Lewis Pass. It is scenically, amazingly beautiful. Um, it's nice and twisty, it's a lot of fun. And tonight we're gonna stop in Murchison. Yeah, we're staying in Murchison tonight. We're traveling with Calvin and his brother Stephen for this wee trip and uh, what bikes are they on? Um, uh, Kelvin's got a Tiger, um, Triumph Tiger 800 800 or 850 I'm not sure That's an 800 and Stephen has got a GSXR 750 1991 Yeah I was looking for the, um, the XR no, I don't think it's a GSX-R. I think it's a GSX. G or something. Really? Yeah, something like that. It's so old, um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know much about that one. It's all right, though. But it goes good on it, yeah. Yeah, it goes really good on it. Anyway, we Tom's a bit put out because um, they just absolutely slaughtered him at full. That's actually <laughs> not true. We, You and I won two games to one because on the two second games, we had potted no balls. They potted all seven of theirs and then they fouled on the black because we had so many balls on the table they couldn't get the black in, That's which true. is a perfectly acceptable strategy. Yes, exactly. Uh, Tom was playing amazing on his own and then he joined up with me and then we saw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not that bad, babe. Oh, I'm not bad. I need lots of practice. I don't get much practice. But um, then we find out that they're dead. Their dad made pool tables. Pool table. Yeah, they grew up playing pool, so they're pretty good. But we it's still really, beat them. Um, yeah, it's really nice through here. I'm just super stoked the sun's come out. Yeah, well, it's been incredibly grey, hasn't it, all day? Oh incredibly grey, incredibly it's, grim. It was so weird because riding up to Christchurch yesterday, it got up to 32 degrees. It was boiling hot. We were really, we were overheating at one point, weren't we? Yeah. Stop. We woke up this morning, it was like 11. Yeah, it was freezing cold, raining, windy. We were like, what the? Beep, beep, beep. And um, so we decided to take off about 10.30 to the and then stopped and had coffee, blah, blah, blah. So we got into Hamner about, what was it, 1.30? About two hours ago. It's three o'clock now. Oh my gosh. I think it was about 20 past one. And just... If you're ever in Hamner, go to Saints, which is kind of like a pub eatery with all Oh, it's rules. okay. It isn't that flash. Well, it's great for a group of people. It's all right. They just do, like, burgers and stuff and um, have a beer and it's really yeah. nice. I prefer the place next door. Oh, well, that's a really cool little cafe. Yeah. The powerhouse, if you're into that sort of thing. That's just me. I, I prefer Eggs Benny and a coffee rather uh, than a burger and a beer. 
<laughs> it depends what mood you're in. Yeah, that's true. I could eat both at the same time, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it would I actually be. did go through a stage of having Eggs Benny breakfast with a side order of chips and a beer. What? Yeah. For quite a long time, actually. That's and when I got up to 97 kg. Well, I'm not slim and surprised. <laughs> My goal was 100. I had a bet with oh, the right. guy I worked with to see who could get to 100 kg first. Oh my gosh, no wonder you're a yeah. whale. Never made it, never got above 97. I didn't realise you had a bet on, I would have... Yeah, me and Ali. I would have... Oh, Ali. Oh my gosh, I must have a word with him. You're still trying to work that off now. I know, it's taken years to get rid of it. So it's Ali's fault. <laughs> 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 we were trying to be the first ever 100 kg roofers. That oh was my the. Gosh. Yeah. It's so wrong. <laughs> All through the road, it's dangerous. <laughs> um, we must remember to watch the Starlink satellites. Tonight. Oh, yeah, Starlink satellites, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware, but Elon Musk has put up a whole heap of satellites in space. I'm pretty sure everybody knows. Oh, um, and it, if you look at the Starlink, you can download the app and you can, we at the moment, we around 10 o'clock at night, 9 or 10 o'clock at night, we can see the whole stream of them in the sky coming across. Yeah, right now it's a bit of a novelty, to see, I mean, in the history of the human race to see that sort of thing in the sky, but you wait, 10 years from now, you'll be cursing and saying, the bloody satellites ruining our night views, they'll be like the light There'll be pollution in the sky from all the blooming thousands of scat satellites. Scatterlights? Scatterlights? Oh, uh, it's pretty big up there. But um, there is a lot of talk about that sort of thing and, you know, what happens when they malfunction. Well, when they come back into the atmosphere... Well, they, they just fall back down and then burn up. They burn up. They yeah. disintegrate. So, um, but anyway, it's pretty cool if you haven't seen them like a whole line of light moving across the sky. Well, we haven't seen them yet, have we? We well, saw, I have. We saw them, but we haven't seen them in a line. Well, I did. You did? Yeah. Huh. I think you and Tara were looking at the wrong place the other night. The neighbours told me where to look. Yeah, now this is the corner that we walked through the other day on the XR. Let's see how this thing goes. Smooth. Yeah, it's definitely, it, it's not quite as firm in the corners, that's all I'll say. This is a little bit more squishy. Then again, uh, we were fully laden on the exercise. You just don't realise how good that bike was. Shush about the Stop your pining. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. That's fine. Oh. I really like the it makes when you pull back the throttle. I'm actually considering getting an Akprovic exhaust for this bike. I think it needs it. Yeah, well, I think if Jason doesn't mind, oh, wow. That's okay. Yeah, that is amazing. 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 Find another exit. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Spectacular. We're actually kind of riding into the sun a bit, so I don't know how people are going to see oh, well, good or bad, but it's pretty stunning. amazing. <laughs> um, what was it? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I think this bike needs an Akaprovic exhaust to let the thwack loose yeah with the xr because it was such a screamer the standard exhaust was more than loud enough um with this actually i think the standard exhaust is a bit quiet it could do dull. with it's a little bit dull it needs to it's clearly when you when you open it up it really thwacks like i i don't i'll do it here i'll change down 
but but you can hear it bouncing against the let him go listen can you hear it yeah Woohoo! I'll tell you what there isn't many reviews of is the this huge screen. Oh yes. Interesting point if you're buying one. Yeah. For your, for your AGS. Well I'll do a review on it, but for the regular viewers um it's not very good unless you buy the stabilization brackets. As you can see, we've had to shove something in there because it's flapping around so much. It it, it looks like it's about to fall off which is not good. Yeah, we on our trip up yesterday. It was very windy, wasn't it? Very, very, very windy. windy. And the, the screen was just Wobbly, right? going yeah. all over the place. We thought it was going to come off and hit us. It was definitely going to come off. Yeah. Um, so we did the right thing. We I, I, I fixed the GoPro bracket down the side so it can't go any further back. And then I shoved that in there to give it a bit of damping. But yeah, we're going to need to buy the brackets, unfortunately. Oh, that's all just sand, isn't it? Yeah, amazing. Stop saying amazing. Ah, so, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we've been using the app. Um, yeah, we use the today. the Motorrad app to get the little speed thing on there. And because they've reduced the speed to 80 on a lot of roads very recently, it still thinks it's 100. Yeah, which so is I a bit dangerous. It's a bit annoying, so I switched it off. We're like, well, actually, and the other thing is, I can't get the the navigation to work on this screen. I don't know whether it's supposed to. Um, I've linked it to the phone. I've downloaded the maps. I've got a feeling that you have to have it linked to a headset to make it work, but I can't get it to work on this screen. So I need to do a little bit more playing with it. But I'm presuming, because I didn't link it to the centre, that it won't complete the process or something like that. I don't know. So do I mean, it doesn't matter. I know all the roads. I, I never get lost. That is so funny. Thanks. <laughs> I think this is semantic. It's like, it's all right. I'll know where it is. I'll know, I'll know where to go. And it's like, um, OK. So what road is it on? I don't know. What road is it? I don't know. What number is it? I don't know. It's in this general direction. <laughs> yeah, but it's the, you use the sense. My senses. <laughs> I look at, I'm like Crocodile Dundee, babe. I just look up the sun. <laughs> I can tell you exactly what time it is and where we're going. Right, sorry. <laughs> wow, it's, it is gorgeous, isn't it? It is. Oh, you are. There's all these areas to explore and everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could lose yourself up in these hills, couldn't you? Just disappear for weeks and weeks. Well, people do. <laughs> yeah. My accident. Well, I mean, sadly, that English girl just <laughs> died, didn't she? I don't know if they found her body, have they? Uh, I don't, I think they did find her body. Oh, no. Yeah. And the two other bodies that washed up on that Yeah, there was like another that. two bodies the week before that washed up. <laughs> The problem is, is uh, don't, don't take offence to this, but people from England, particularly England, come here and think that they can go, go, bush. go wandering around in the in the mountains. And of course, if you're from England, you think that oh, just the other side of that mountain, there's a little town, or there's a road, or there's a, do you know what I mean? Or there's there's always safety within a day's walk. And there's very few places in England where you can really get seriously lost. Maybe the Pennines, but even then there's so many people on them. But you can disappear in these um, mountains here you, and never be seen again. Well, like, that's exactly what happens to people. Yeah. Um, not only that, the rivers can flash floods. It's incredibly quick. dangerous, yeah. Really dangerous. So you cross the river and then on the way back it's like two feet higher. Yeah. Um, but people just don't realise that the conditions change so, so quickly. Yeah, there's only really a couple of roads through these um, southern Alps. Yeah. And if you, go, if you go walking off into the southern Alps, in fact, the best way to uh, find out about it is watch a set of DVDs done by um, 
a New Zealand uh, pair of guys, really cool guys, and they do, is it called Intrepid Journeys? No, no. Not no. Um, they're called, uh, uh, oh my gosh, we have to find out the name. Um, and uh, they do like... It's the first crossings or first... Yeah, yeah is that first crossing? I think it might be. Well, that's terrible, <laughs> recommending something and then not remembering what it's called. We sent it to your mum, didn't we? Yeah, I think it's called first crossings or first journeys. And it's a, it's a couple of Kiwi blokes. Kiwi blokes, and it's about the original pioneers that yeah. tried to map this. Oh, oh look. Hey. Um, who came to New Zealand and crossed over their mountains like, yeah. like a string bag and a blimmin'. Yeah, and, and you would not believe how many of them died doing it. Yeah. Like, it is seriously hardcore, the um, outback here. Oh my gosh, yes. And, um, pretty hard in those days to support the equipment well, they had. Well, they had no safety net in them days, but I mean, the, the terrain is still the same. Oh, yes. It's but if you're, if you're lucky, if you're really lucky, a helicopter will find you. Anyway, uh, there you go. So, if you are considering um, coming hiking here, be careful. You can get into um, big trouble. Yeah, you want to leave your name at the dock. Yeah. Information desk and, and like, well, have you seen the, like, uh, Mount Cook? You go to Mount Cook and at the dock, um, you know, the hut at the bottom, there's a little uh, museum there. They have a book. And I'm not kidding, it's about sort of four, three, four massive Bibles wide. And that's all the deaths up Mount Cook, the names yeah. of everybody who's died. Climbers. Uh, climbers, just it's people going forest. up Mount Cook. It's yeah. seriously dangerous. Oh, yeah. And it's also nothing like the European Alps because the Euro European Alps, um, if you look at these mountains, I don't know whether you can see it right now, but like that bit at the top there, it's not rock. It's, it's sand and gravel. Yeah, shingle. So these mountains are considered very very new mountains i think they're only supposed to be like 65 million oh, it's a copperhead. who said that it just flashed the light. Oh, okay um they're new mountains so what you've got is you've got about 50 percent of the mountain is solid rock as it's been pushed up and then on top of the solid rock is sh basically schist it's sand and gravel and then what you've got on Mount Cook, on top of the sand and gravel, it's is snow. snow and ice. So it's a completely, incredibly dangerous surface. Um, and people die up there all the time. Yeah, but, but I mean, we've had there. those three deaths in like the last three weeks of just, because it rained. It rained, people got stuck, they tried to cross the river, they died. Yeah. yeah. Um, or they just get lost in the bush and they freeze to death. Or they get lost and they get hypothermia, it happens yeah, all the time. They yeah. die. Yeah, honestly, it does. So you have to be so careful. I mean, yeah. honestly, we, we hear about it all the time. Yeah, being locals and yeah, you know, Wanaka, which a lot of people. And we've got friends who um, fly the helicopters and do the search and rescue stuff, and we know what goes on. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah, but anyway. But anyway. You just can't take it for granted. No, and that's why they have these slips. Look, can you see that there? Yeah. That whole mountainside has just slipped down. Yeah. Right from the top, you can see it. Yeah, all the way from the top. It's just uh, sand. Oh, it's down, yeah. So, yeah, just be wary. And DOC is um, Department of Conservation. They have DOC um, huts and sites everywhere. Yeah, you can see, look, it's all just gravel, sand and gravel. Um, everybody I know, particularly all my hunter mates, have uh, a GPS tracker that they click so it means that they could go out into the bush and if there's an emergency they click it and it gives their exact location it's like a beacon, you a you literally beacon. cannot go up into these mountains without one of them it's, it's a death wish oh yeah you're asking for trouble yeah it doesn't 80 feel so slow on this bike can you remember coming through here on the xr just the other week doing 80 and it felt like quite a nice pace this actually feels dreadfully slow really weird it feels like 40 or 50. yeah i'm enjoying the thwack of the bike the thwack thwack come on this is so slow 
it really does lend itself towards cruising at a faster speed, doesn't it? Not shit. I feel like I'm going for do, you know, do, you, do you know what it is? Okay. I know, I totally understand you. Don't have to explain it to me. I get it, babe. Well, here's what uh, here's the other thing. Okay, because the XR has a hundred and ninety millimeter back tire, right? It physically needs to be lent over further to go around a corner, right? So if you're doing a corner at ninety kilometers an hour on this bike, you could do it in your sleep. Like anybody could do it, or you you just give it a little lean, it goes around the corner, right? But on the XR, you had to lean it over that little bit further, so it felt like you were leaning further around the corners. Now I'm just uh, cruise control, 85 kilometers an hour. Uh, I don't need to touch the handlebars. It's so easy to ride. It kind of's taken away the fun. Right, that's why it's the best bike in the world, and the best touring bike in the world, and the safest touring bike in the world. Yes, smart ass, that is, but still didn't change the fact. 
yes, I get it. It's a much, much better bike, but um, you don't like it. I don't not like it. I don't think so. It'd be the biggest. It'd be the biggest slimming. What's the word? Scandal of the YouTube <laughs> community. <laughs> If Tom talked the white bear for the <laughs> <laughs> I won't because I love you very much and I know you feel safer on this one. And I'll be honest, I feel safer on this. This is a safer bike. Please let that be a... Why can't there be a cop when I'm doing the speed limit? It sucks. Why do you think it's 80 through here? I don't know, it's ridiculous. But why did, did you say it was 80? It is 80, it's 80 signs everywhere. Yeah, it's a far more capable bike and it is fully laden at the moment. And fully laden that the XR could handle everything but I just had this feeling it was going to snap in half. Do you know what I mean? Well, but I, I mean, the, the forks are gone. Yeah, I mean, I was not happy to spend all that money on that bloody bike we'd only had for three years. Yeah, so agreed. Bad. If this does that, I... I make a pledge now that I'm setting it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. This is a good bike. If anything goes wrong with this bike, fire. No, it won't because it's, it's built like a brick shit house. Frickin' better be. Have you heard any mechanical complaints? Yes. Old ones. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm sorry to be on a bit of a downer. I am. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me. I think you missed the speed. Well, well, they just took off, you know, and left us, and we're chugging behind on a b blooming brick on two wheels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They were said they were stopping. Ah, oh, they said they were stopping at this one. Yeah. <laughs> On a tractor. <laughs> oh, no, no entry. I'm going to have a drink of water. Where's the red ones? Is there a red one on that side? The other side? Five? Yeah. Oh, what's this one? MPD. It's the same one as the one in Wanaka. Really cool. Just keep all this bit of glass about. Yeah. The does the colours don't match the picture? Oh fuck my life. <laughs> Ah, oh, no, no, I went back. Sorry, go back. Transaction cancelled. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, fuck. fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my earplug is in my brain. Take it out. Right, come on. I'm waiting for her. Don't look. Don't both look at me. <laughs> She's the one. Let me get my earplug out. My earplug's worked itself into my brain. Okay. What's the plan? Go to the pub. Oh, oh there's a place across the road that we'll check out. We'll go and check it out. I think so. I think I think we need to go and book in and all that. And yeah, let's do that. Dump our stuff and you know. Yeah, but jump on the jump on the brick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. I think you should be very blessed to be on this boat. It's bloody amazing.
I am, and it is amazing. And folks, don't get all ass bent out of shape. I am tongue in cheek joking. Right, here we are. I'm just going to show you our little cabin. There we are. Here's our little cabin. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Knock, knock. Hi. There's Tabwina home. <laughs> this is our little cabin. Cute, isn't it? <laughs> This is a, the princess's bed. <laughs> <laughs> the pee under the mattress. Yes. And then I'm shoved in there. <laughs> <laughs> you could sleep in the in the bottom. Right. Got the key? No. Oh, hang on, where's the um, cabin key? In my hand. Don't need that, do you? You're going somewhere on the motorbike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Okay, locked. Go and show us round, Kim. Let's have a look. Um, okay, so. Oh, yeah, this is pretty, pretty, isn't it? River down there. Oh, we could walk down there. Yeah, we need to go and inspect the river. Yeah, we'll go down and take you down there in a minute. But this, right across from there, we have in. Okay, the campsite. This is quite what you get in campsites in New Zealand, so communication. Yeah. Campsite in New Zealand, you, you get everything, it's decked out. You've got pots, all the pots are in there. You don't have to bring anything yourself, which is pretty cool for motorbikers. It's brilliant because you don't need to bring anything. And you pay about five, six dollars extra and you get all your bedding. You get towels, you get um, duvets, you get everything. But yeah, it's slightly different from camping in England where you have to take your plates, your, your pots, your pans, your knives, your fork. You don't take any of that stuff here. Right. I want to go down and have a look at the waterfront. Yeah, let's do it. That's Great. I never have got rid of the flipping... Um, what was that thing called? Gumball. The gumball. The gumball. Oh no, we just need a the, selfie stick. We don't need a gumball. And turn around this way and see the hills. There. Yeah, let's keep exploring. Yeah. Show us your shoes. Kim wants to show off her cool shoes. Ooh. <laughs> Tabwina's little feet. <laughs> Right, knock on the door, see if he's home. I thought you said he walked up there. Oh, I think he did. And there's the Suzuki. <laughs> We're videoing. We're walking around videoing everything. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's the hat? So it's Calvin. <laughs> Uh, going looking for you. Oh. <laughs> oh, we just saw him walking that way. Go we'll go and find him. him. Okay. What do you want to do? Do you want to eat? <laughs> anyway, we've eaten now. Tavwina's had some wine. We've had a couple of wines. <laughs> so we're all good. Okay, <laughs> hey, bye. Do you want to turn the fire with the beautiful setting sun? Can you see that? Can I see that out our window?
Yeah, great spot, isn't it? Right, I'm going to have a glass of wine. <laughs> Dobwina's got another bottle of wine. <laughs> Toy Toy Central Otago Pinot Noir Clutha 2019. Gold stars. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we have blueberries. Why have you bought blueberries? Why? It's my dessert. Put my creams on and things. Put them in. Are you filming? <laughs> <laughs> Top Wien has had a few glasses of wine. <laughs>